Hey everybody, welcome back to the new episode, the new season, the new world. It's glorious. Uh, we are here again in the lovely village, as you can see. And I've set up a basic nether portal. And that's going to help me facilitate the transport of all the little baby villagers that get made here to a new location where they can live their lives as perpetual indentured servants. It's going to be good fun for me. Not for them, but I mean... Who gives a shit about them? They're NPCs. <laughs> Seriously now. But yeah, um, turns out uh, the nitwits... Um, ooh, where's all my food here? Uh, the nitwits are not capable of breeding. So I may have um, taken this here axe and bashed the nitwits face in a couple of times. And At least so far, the um, iron golem here hasn't tried killing me. Which is good, I guess. Uh, like, I, I'm not actually sure where it's gone. M maybe it died. I do not know. I haven't seen it, though. I didn't kill it, which is, you know, good. But, yeah, I'm thinking maybe it died. Because that's about the only thing I can think of, unfortunately. But, uh, of course, this is a new episode. We have a new day. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've actually played on this. I've been playing modded Minecraft. You all can come join me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash my username. And, yeah, you can see the new modded uh, pack I've put together, which has been good fun to play. But, of course, today I'm hoping to get a nether, or a basic nether system set up. Uh, just a simple transport. Uh, hopefully the bamboo farm for my, uh, what do you call it, furnace smelting system. And uh, that should be everything I need. I'm not looking to die right now, so we're going to come over here. <laughs> As you can see, I've, oh, hello, fellas. Uh, I am going to have to kill you. Come here. Come here. Wow, that was easy. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've set up a basic pathway between the two nether portals. It's only very, very basic at the moment, and I will be adding to it, but, I mean... Ooh, hello. Oh, wow, you did a lot of fucking damage, didn't you? Holy shit. Wow. Uh, and that one's coming too. Yay, fun. But yeah, uh, hopefully I can get the basic of the nether transit system set up today. There won't be any rails, just a pathway between the two, maybe an enclosed space. Especially since this is all above ground, we'll see about the uh, coal required for smelting all the glass to encase it though, mind you, because uh, that's going to be a lot of work. I'm thinking uh, the best way to mount it would be to the roof, not the ground, because that's a long way down. And I will die a very painful, burny, burny death if I fall down there. But yeah, uh, that's going to be the end of this clip. I will be getting stuck into getting everything set up, and I will see you in the next clip. Okay, and we are back. Here we have my fancy pants uh, basic smelting system. It can do... Eight stacks of 64 simultaneously in the time it would take to do a single stack of 64. It can do one stack of 64 in an eighth of the time. And it, when completed and combined with the bamboo farm, should have a literally unlimited supply of sweet, sweet burnable fuel. As you can see, it's currently filled with bamboo. As is this. As is this. Uh, and that's because I've put in this uh, latching mechanism. Essentially, what happens is when this starts filling with bamboo it uh, latches off this which prevents the change state for the rail that this is sitting on and that's easy enough and this changes of course only once there is a sufficient amount of resources so if this is empty then the minecart won't be running because it's waiting to fill up with resources um but yeah it should work quite well um i've just got to build this in the world uh, which is not going to be fun, mind you, as I don't think I have all the resources required for it. But, uh, yeah, we shall see. I'm going to get started on building this. As you can see, this is just a weird test world that I've set up to temporarily do a bit of work. But, yeah, I'll get stuck into putting this into the world and we will see it when it's done. 
Hello again, everybody. So uh, I'm on my way to a swamp biome because I really don't want to be digging out a big old bloody slime chunk, and it actually just occurred that I might have a slime chunk. Uh, beside the point. On my way, find a lovely swamp biome, harvest of some uh, slimes and their balls, you know, get my hands on them balls, good fun. Uh, so I can, you know, make a flying machine, it'll be good fun, and um, uh, boy look what I found. Ain't that just pretty? Damn, I would die so hard if I jumped down there, but god is that fucking tempting. Look, look at the water down there, you reckon I could make it? I don't reckon I could make it. Maybe there. But ain't no way in fucking hell I'm making it there. I I'm gonna mark this uh, coordinate and I'm gonna come back here. And uh, maybe do something with this at some point. I'm not sure. But it's pretty fucking cool. Like, come on. It's a dripstone cave. It's a massive fucking cave. We could pretty it up with some glass on top. Maybe, you know, cocaine and hooker den. Good fun. Uh, yeah, we've got some ledges. Oh, look at that. This is the first uh, uber large cave I've actually come across uh, since I've started this, but god damn, that is so pretty. Thank you, Mo Yang. Thank you. Now, if you all could just stop, you know, patching out all the good farms, that'd be swell. But alrighty, I I'm gonna continue on my way to, uh, 4,000 on the Z coordinate, and uh, yeah, if I haven't shot myself in the face yet, I will see you all in the next clip. Wow, so we are, might have another exploration episode. Uh, oh, except for the fact that, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit. No. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna go, 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 um, but alas, no, no, um, there was a trident wielding mofo who wanted to, uh, do nasty things to my body. I do not consent to that, so I have to leave now and, you know, not have that happen to me. Holy shit, that would have ended so badly for me. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, now, I harvested a bed from the local village. Now, as I am, uh, over there, the village... As I am a sociopath, I stole it off a child who was jumping on this bed. So they are now without a bed, and it is my bed now. And I do believe I am well within my rights to do that, for I am the stronger, and they were just a child. Um, though, I suppose, since I can't show you the uh, cool building over there, I can show you the cool potential elytra course over here. I mean, would you look at that? I can uh, see down into it and potentially some really nice stuff down there. This is another one that I'm going to have to record. Um, uh, yeah, you can't really get down there. There was another area underwater that I found not too long ago uh, that went down pretty deep. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow. You know, I really got to get uh, potions of water breathing, and uh, part of my plan for this series is to get a nice potion brewing system set up, so that should be good. And is that another fucking village? My god, my cup does runneth over with this shit. Hey, where am I? Uh, I'm like still 1500 blocks out of the fucking zone that I'm looking for, and you can see how full up my inventory. Oh god, I have no armor. Oof. Okay, so you can see how full up my inventory is going to get. I'm going to build a small house when I arrive at my destination. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, survive long enough. But, uh, yeah, I, I may end up building a... Ooh, nether portal. Hey, that's an idea. I'd have to find diamonds, though, which means, you know, setting up a temporary base, mining down to the diamond level, and... It's a whole lot of work. So in any case, again, if I survive... See you in the next clip. Look at my, oh, hang on, look at my furry new friend. Isn't he handsome? Oh, he's a handsome boy. Yes, he is. No, oh, look at that. I didn't even need to harvest up all the cob that I got, but hey, 
Uh, yeah, he can come with me. Come on. Yeah, that's a good putty cat. No, he's just like my cat Spyro. It's going to be marvelous. In fact, that one's slightly more purple than my cat. So, more apt that he is called Spyro. My little furry bastard's just black. With some white patches. But that's a battle. What are the crab? Oh, uh, that's a chook. All right, well, uh, it's going to be the next night very soon. Uh, so I'm going to have my new furry friend. Hey, Spyro, you're, you're going to sit there. I've got to find a name tag still. Uh, but my new furry friend can sit there and keep the creepers away from me while I uh, harvest up a bunch of slime. I might even build myself a small house or... Uh, no, no, I won't adopt the witch's house. I'll light it up, though. So, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, should be, yeah, it'll be night time soon. I'll harvest up as much uh, sweet, sweet goodies as I can, and yeah, I'll be back. Oh, I didn't need to make one of those. I had that. Oh well. I'll see you in the next clip. Okay. So, uh, we have this. Now, as you can see down there, maybe I'm not sure how it's coming up after it's been encoded, but we have some uh, lovely little magma blocks and if we swim down uh, very quickly mind you you can see a huge underwater area I suppose since we do have these I can float my way down I mean look at that how awesome is it it's freaking epic oh hello mr. Zombert or Drownbert whatever uh, yeah I mean look at this we're all the way down where the uh, Shit, can't remember the name of that block spawns. And yeah, I mean, just look at it. It's like an underwater city almost. It is purely epic. Honestly, I am really loving this new world generation. I am so glad I started a 118 world. It's just great. But yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> as you can see, still here in the uh, lovely, lovely swamp biome. Hunting for slimes. It's been two nights so far. Uh, well, only one night in the real world, but two nights in the Minecraft world because they're not spawning with the current moon cycle. Yay, fun. So hopefully, uh, very shortly, we'll have the correct moon cycle and I will be able to harvest some slimes and maybe even build a nether portal. I might work on a uh, strip mine down at the bottom of the world, see what we can do. But alrighty, again, see you all in the next clip. Thought I'd show that off, and I will catch you momentarily. Okay, so I have made some progress, as you can see. Uh, I've had to modify my design slightly. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually included in the earlier bit. It's yeah, Unfortunately, I've been quite lazy. Uh, but instead of having the individual farm components themselves i'm going to make a giant flying machine that stretches across the lengthway here that goes back and forth pushing all of the goodies down here where they can be picked up as you can see i have a lovely mine cart here um i may need to put some more hoppers down just so as it uh, approaches it starts sucking it up there uh, actually i suppose i could uh, take it all the way across there couldn't i that way, oh wow, that kind of flipped around, nice. Uh, but yeah, beyond that, uh, the entire design is pretty much the same. I had considered what I might do. Uh, I'm going to have an automated stop for the flying machine. So when this line triggers, uh, meaning that the furnaces are full, or at least they should be equally full, uh, what, oh, that was stupid. Uh, yeah, once that breaks, it's going to uh, shut off the flying machine as well. And that should just allow for the stuff to grow. Now, of course, I still need to pick a color palette, uh, something to put around the sides here. But that should be relatively easy. Uh, I need to bring this up by one and then add some glass in. And that will just stop the items from being lost, as it were. And yeah, of course I've got the slime blocks required. Uh, the flying machine itself will be 12 across and... Yes, I think that's sufficient. 
but yeah, uh, <laughs> I've been doing uh, yeah the mining and uh, the slime gathering and this and uh, my new Nether tunnel, uh, which we will show off right now. Although it's not technically a tunnel, it is a giant. Uh, what would you call it? Pain in my ass. That's for sure. It's about 500 blocks in this direction, and yeah. Uh, as you might see in a previous clip, I don't know if the audio came through properly or not, but yeah. I also found some netherite here, which was brilliant. But yeah, suffice to say, 500 blocks that away <laughs> is where the slime, or where the swamp is. So yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty good. I mean, okay, it's not looking good, but things are looking up. I've made a fair bit of progress today, and hopefully we'll be done soon. So I will see you all in the next clip. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is going to be the last clip. You can see the lovely bamboo farm now. How glorious it is looking. And I've added some new features to the system. If I could, you know, manage to get up there. Ooh, is that? Ah, nice. It is currently full up. Wow, that is a lot. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that. Why is it... Oh, I see. Oh, ah, there we go. You can see it triggered on of its own accord and is now automatically going back. Those are the new features I have added. And they are marvellous. Working quite well, if I do say so myself. And, uh, oh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I've been playing modded Minecraft with a buddy of mine, Rob, on uh, my Twitch channel. Check me out, uh, twitch.tv forward slash WULTKB90, as it were. Um, yeah, uh, we've been streaming on modded server, and I've got the double jump mod installed, which means I can climb up you know, two high verticals by holding shift, grabbing the wall and jumping up. Unfortunately, don't work in uh, vanilla, so yeah. Now, here is what has been causing the automation to occur. As you can see, when the bamboo grows up one taller, uh, oh shoot, I really hope the cart hasn't fro- uh, maybe not. Uh, when the cart grows up, uh, when this grows up one taller, the signal gets sent to this trapdoor, which automatically triggers the dispersal of the flying machine, which, you know, collects up all the goodness, which is exactly what I need to occur. Now, uh, the automation of that was relatively easy. Uh, on this side, of course, all we have is a observer here which detects when the flying machine arrives that turns this off which flicks that and causes the flying machine to go back automatically a quite elegant system and of course the uh, system here is fully operational now this should be well yeah it will slowly fill up Last thing we need to check is that this is working, and it is. Excellent. Now, I'm thinking what I need to do is put more hoppers down across there. Expensive, yes, but as you'll see when this returns, it's very, very full. So it's not actually getting rid of everything it should. And I'm having to manually put stuff in which is fine sort of but yeah I need to put in either a hopper unloading system so it stops once it arrives here waits to unload everything and then returns but as you can see there is not a whole lot of space here I really don't want to be moving everything around uh, now it, it's gonna be a little while before I uh, have another video out. My mum and sister are coming to visit for about a week or so and again I can't do the wall jump. So I won't be able to record and I do apologize for how lazy I've been. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, not been going well. I do like the uh, way that it lights up 
over there though, it looks beautiful. Or at least I think it looks beautiful. But yeah, uh, yeah, I think the best clip to get for this will be oop, over here. So thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure having you as always. Do come check me out on Twitch. I try and stream every night, or at least I will be at least tonight and tomorrow night before my mum and sister arrive. So yeah, I do hope I can catch you on Twitch and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and goodbye.